what is going on guys welcome back to the channel critical overlord here's just about halloween ends in this video here again today so recently in a new interview with collider nick castle gave some comments on the upcoming film that we know is coming out later this year in the month of october it's going to be the conclusion of the david gordon green iteration of the timeline that he's been crafting since the 2018 uh rebirth of the franchise with the horror icon michael myers involved and of course him now pursuing laurie strode who is not his sister per the fact that it's a sequel all of these are sequels to the original film and we know that wasn't established till the second movie so his recent comments seem to be teasing a shocking surprise ending that you might not be considering is a possibility going into the film and i know i've seen some people already kind of say they're worried about it he basically stated that i think there might be more in talking about the future of the franchise i think there might be more because of all the success of this trilogy but green will have a very surprising storyline and ending for everyone is absolutely something i don't think you would have ever guessed in terms of the way it's going to unroll now one thing i could i guess i could say many people are not necessarily considering is that what if this this dream idea that i know a lot of us are considering we're considering that but we're considering it to be a dream that is gonna undo everything that we've seen that would include the 2018 film that would include halloween kills and it would actually include the film we're about to watch it's gonna undo all of that and it's gonna be picking up sometime after the events of the first movie and laurie strode is in a completely different different spot in her life than we originally thought but what if they do something different than that they could do something where it's just that the events of kills and ends are the dream scenario halloween 1978 of course happened but also halloween 2018 as well happened it's not going to erase the whole trilogy it's just going to erase kills and ends and you would establish that after the events of Halloween 2018, Laurie Strode and her and her daughter and her granddaughter did indeed ride off into the, the Halloween night. Uh, firefighters, though, never really came and discovered a live Michael Myers. They did put the fire out, but they didn't discover a live Michael Myers. They could do something where we are teased that the shape is still out there and maybe that's how the movie ends the movie ends with again the idea that dave mccray brought up which again i think is brilliant where the firefighters actually arrive on the scene of the house at the night of halloween 2018 still that's how halloween ends could could end up ending and when they're going to put out the fire there's a voiceover that comes on where dr loomis says you think you fooled them michael but not me and then the movie just cuts off indicating that well did michael myers actually survive that fire from the 2018 film because basically what we've gotten ever since then is confirmation of that with kills showing us that he survived and now ends showing us that he survived but what if they pull the rug out from under us and we just revert back to that same night and it's basically going to show us that Lori Strode is in the hospital and she's recovering from her from her wounds. Everyone else has been treated, but Lori got admitted to the hospital since she's up more up in age compared to her daughter and her granddaughter. So she's in the hospital and she had just been dreaming it all. It's going to be the same Halloween night of 2018. You'll have your Judy Greer cameo that way. You'll have Allison in the room present when she wakes up. And then when we realized that the events of kills and ends were all just a dream and we're still in the same night, we could jump to a scene of the firefighters arriving on, on the set of the uh, or on the scene of the fire at Lori's house. Still, the fire rages on. And when they go to set it out or put it out, the camera starts to pan over. It gives you like an aerial shot observing the, the fire from above. And you can hear Dr. Loomis speak from beyond the grave. You fooled them, Michael, or something like that, but not me. And then the movie just cuts to black. You don't know if Michael survived that fire or not. And you can actually throw in some little subtle breathings to confirm what actually went down in that house if he survived. Does that, does that mean that he survived? And you constantly just have this idea or this conversation going surrounding whether or not he survived that fire from the night of 2018. I haven't seen many people consider that. The most I've seen people consider is that they're going to completely erase everything and say that all three films were a dream. What if it's just the last two that are part of the dream? Because if they were to erase everything 
and then just have us pick up 40 years after the events of the original movie and we're still with Laurie Strode's character but she's in a completely different place in her life um what if they even take it as far as rendering Allison a non-existent character Karen doesn't exist all of these things that they they could do if they were to erase those movies tackling on to the fact that all of the other timelines are dream sequences she's just dreamed all these different scenarios in her head where michael myers kept coming after her kept coming after her daughter named jamie kept coming after her son named john she dreamed that she was the head of a private school in california and michael attacked her there rendering all of the timelines a dream i think that would face more backlash I think that scenario would face more backlash, but I think that's, of course, another thing that I guess you could say many people as a whole aren't considering this surprise ending that they're talking about. Most of us are considering, you know, Lori and Michael are going to die together. Michael's going to die. Lori's Lori's possibly going to die. Michael lives. Stuff like that. They're not really honing in on dreams and a big a big dream being the big revelation at the end of Halloween ends. If you do it in a way in which Halloween kills and ends are not canon, it was all a dream, I think people will be more accepting of that. If you render Halloween 2018 kills and ends as a dream and then just pick up randomly 40 years after 78 movie and tell us that Lori dreamed all of that, that would be, I think, far worse received. And then adding on to that, you can add in that all the timelines we've known and love, those are part of this dream too in this timeline. I think that would be a lot more backlash from the fans if they were to do that. Honestly, this surprise ending, I hope it's related to something just remaining canon. I hope it's not really related to dreams, all these other things. But I think if they were to do it, maybe when we go back and rewatch it, we could see that there were indeed clues hinting to the fact that they were going to take us down this dream route. And the, the writing was on the wall and we just failed to recognize it. But again, hopefully they don't do that. Hopefully the surprise is related to mostly like a shocking outcome for Michael and Lori that maybe I'm not considering. Maybe you're not considering. But let me know what you guys think about Nick Castle's comments down in the comment section below. Are you looking into it as much as I am and as much as I've seen other people look into it? Or are you just going to wait for the movie? If you haven't already, of course, make sure you subscribe. Turn on post notification and never miss a video. In the description, I have links to my social media accounts, my Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. You can message me there, of course, let me know if there's any movies, news, or reviews you'd like me to cover in the future. And with all that in mind, guys, I will see you in the next video.